babes welcome back to the channel my name is brianna if you're new so today i have a whole collection to test from hip dot um if you watched my quarantine haul i would i showed it so today i'm going to do a full face using everything in here so Usually when I come to you guys, I have brows. You can see I have no brows on. And that is because the first thing, oh, this is the Switch Rock collection, but I didn't say. The first thing is face mask. So I don't have any brows on yet. So what I did was wash my face. So I'm gonna use one of these masks. So they give you two types. See, it's SpongeBob. And SpongeBob, it is a glow and hydrating face mask with marine protein and hyaluronic acid. So that's what the SpongeBob one is supposed to do. And then the second type you get is a Patrick. And Patrick is a condition and nourishing face mask with seaweed and hyaluronic acid. So they give you two each of those. So I'm just gonna pick which one I want to use today. Um, I think I'm gonna do the glow and hydrating because my face is kind of dry right now. So we're gonna use SpongeBob mask. Move my braids out of the way. this one let me see it doesn't stay how long to have it on most masks are like i want to say you're 10 to 15 minutes like face mask some are 20. so i might even do 15 minutes with this one. Oh, it looks like actual spongebob okay I'm um, just unfolding the mask. And it looks like actual SpongeBob. I wish they had Sandy. Or Pearl. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, SpongeBob. I'm ready. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'm assuming the Patrick one, because I'm not going to open it. Um, I'll show you guys in another video. But I'm assuming the Patrick one looks like Patrick. So I'm just going to put this on. It's the right way. The mouth hole is never big enough. So I am going to leave this on for like 15 minutes. 10-15 minutes and I will come back. Alright y'all, so I'm back with brows now. And they do look good if I say so myself. Alright, so the next thing in the Spongebob collection from Hip Bot is the palette. It's so cute y'all. And the packaging just, I'm sorry, the case that come in look just like it. And I like that because somebody like me would be the first away. See, it'd be total a loss or something. So I'm glad that the actual case, ooh, what's that? Oh, concealer. Oh my. Yeah, I'm clumsy. Anywho, but I'm glad that the actual um, palette itself matched the casing. Some, I haven't used it yet and then get 15 shades I haven't used it yet I just did some swatches which I'll show you all in a minute so you get 15 shades get one two three four five get five matte shades 
and then you get 10 shimmer shades with all of them. I'm trying to figure out the best way. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have did it like that. But I'm kind of slow, just a little bit. My so these are all 15 shades. So there's a couple I'm worried about. Like the third from the right, that yellow, and then the sixth from the left. Because the mattes are kind of powdery, but we'll see what happens. But these are the shades. I'm sorry my boobs in the way. Huh. But these are the shades. The shimmers to watch. Oh my god. I'm so excited. The shimmers are everything. Okay, so these are the shades. I don't have a look in mind of what I would like to do. Per se. I really don't know. So I'm going to do one eye on camera per usual and one eye offline. So I'm just um, taking my CoverGirl concealer in Golden Natural. This is the lightest concealer I have and especially with some of these shades. And see how that looks. I don't like the way that looks. I will go in with Penny Picture. See. I'm gonna get a fluffy brush. Kind of fluffy, kind of dense. So I'm gonna take Imagination and dip in that. show honestly it show I don't know if I wanna keep just keep that right there because I don't it don't look horrible but I don't I don't know so I think I'm going to <laughs> That's fine. I would take. Try to see. I know I need to get some more blending brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna take another blending brush, and this is my dose of color number three brush, and I'm gonna take Penny Pincher. and I'm gonna blend that out because I don't mind having that you know, imagination right there but I am gonna do uh, blend it up blend penny pincher up but I'm gonna pat, pat in it first So, so far, Imagination showed up more than I thought it was, but I think that's because of the lighted concealer I used. 
Right now, I'm just packing on Penny Pincher. Onto my base. And now I am going to blend that up into imagination. So I'm blending Penny Pincher into imagination. And I'm not applying a whole bunch of pressure. I'm just lightly taking my time, blending it in to the imagination. If y'all heard that, that was my stomach. I'm not hungry, it's just making noises at this point. So I'm blending that up. So I'm going to go back into the first shade again, into imagination. And I am going to go back over Penny Pincher because I want to get a balance of it. So clean off, clean the excess shadow off of my brush, and then I'm going to go on top of where I just added imagination and I'm going to blend that out. So I'm dipping this brush into imagination and I am just blending on top. I'm just blending on top. I like how that looks because it kind of turned it into like a little orangey so I, I like that kind of going with a little sunset look sunset vibes so I like how that's looking um I don't know where I want to go next y'all okay I think I'm going to take Penny Pincher again and I'm going to use that denser brush let me clean it off that I first used when I was packing on Imagination. I'm gonna take Penny Pincher and just pat that onto the outer. Pat that onto the outer corner, my outer V. I'm trying to use as many shades as possible. I'm just trying to get my base now. So I'm just packing that on. So I think I'm going to end up doing a cut crease. Of course. So I'm basically just packing that on. So that I'll be. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over that. I'm going to clean this off. I'm not going to add any product to it. But I am going to blend up. Up and inward. So I'm going from the corner. Over and up. So. I'm blending it up. Into the shadows I used already. And like I said. I'm not using a ton of pressure. So now I'm going to take. Wumbo, which is this light pink shade, which I, oh, Brianna, can goodness. So this is Wumbo, and I'm going to take that shade and um, blend the outer V where I just put Penny Pincher. Not too much, just a little bit, because I'm not even sure how that's, if this is going to show up or not. It's not really showing up like a little bit, but not a lot, a lot, which I didn't expect it to. And I don't really need it to show up a lot in this particular look. I just kind of want to blend out Penny Pincher. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it, but my ring light probably a little too bright for you to see. But 
but that did what I wanted to do. I didn't necessarily do that for it to show up, but just to help blend out the edge where I put painting country. Hmm. I don't really have nothing to give me a whole bunch of depth. So I'm going to take This is a little smaller than the brushes I've been using, but I don't, okay. I'm gonna get this pencil brush too. So I'm, this is small, this is a smaller, like tighter blend brush that I've been using. So I'm gonna go back into Penny Pincher. And I'm gonna go back in my crease. I'm dabbing it first, tapping the color on there. Trying to get, it's, kind of as dark as possible in my crease since I really don't have anything to put in my crease to like deepen it uh, the darkest shade is the penny pincher that's not a shimmer shade uh, and everything else that could possibly uh, have possibly been used is our shimmer shades and I don't want to put a shimmer shade in my crease I just can't so, I'm basically just getting that in my crease. Okay. So, now I'm going to take this pencil brush. And I'm just going to focus it right here. Basically, just trying to get that as dark as I can in this area, and I'm using a pencil brush and I'm applying pressure to get it as dark as possible. So, I think this is as dark as we're gonna get with Penny Pincher, which is fine. So, now I am gonna go back into that dense. I'm gonna clean off Penny Pincher and I'm gonna take this dense brush I used the first time, go back into imagination. I'm I'm coming y'all. I'm just trying to get the base now. So I'm gonna go back and basically I'm tapping that. Basically tapping that. Well, penny pincher. And I'm gonna take the blending brush and with nothing, no extra thing, I'm just gonna go and blend, blend the edges out. I'm dipping in it just a little, a little bit. So now I'm going to cut my crease. Which I'm going to speed through because I mean, y'all see me cut my crease multiple times. The brush. Alright. And again, I'm taking Golden Natural. For my cover girl because that is the lightest concealer that I have and I'm just taking a flat brush okay 
and then cut my crease. I um, think I'm going to do a half cut crease. I'm not going to do a whole cut crease. This is what I'm, this is what my crease is going to be looking like. I'm thinking that I want to use blue, of course. the shades I'm going to go with are, hmm, wait a minute, cause I thought I knew, well I, I know what, I want to use Meow Meow and Golden Pineapple, that's Meow Meow, that's Golden Pineapple, now I was going to use this one, but now I kind of use this one. I don't know. Which one should I use? Mm, we'll see when I get there. So, I think I'm going to use Meow Meow first. So, flat brush. Use Meow Meow. First, we're gonna see how that is, how that applies without. I'm just packing the brush with it, and it's crumbly, which is always that's good to me for shimmers. Cause to me, I, that feel I feel like that that means it's gonna pop if it crumbles in the pan. So I'm gonna use Meow Meow first, and we're gonna see how that applies with no no no, no wet nothing. So this is what it's looking like. I didn't wet the brush or anything. This is what Meow Meow is looking like. So I'm going to wet the brush and see if that gives any more payout. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I'm just making a mess today. I didn't get any more color payoff, so I think what it is is it's not as deep as you would think in the pan. Like it's not, you know, like 
a dark dark purple but i feel like it's deep enough where i would think it would be a little little just a smidge darker than what it is but i like it though so i'm just gonna uh, get that where i want it and i think that's good because i still have to leave space for like two two other colors I'm gonna wipe that off and the next shade I think I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna do golden pineapple so I'm gonna do the same thing golden pineapple do golden pineapple jar and see what that looks like so you wanna be careful so you don't go outside your um the space that you dedicated for your cut crease. Cause you, you know you worked hard to get that all neat and pretty. So you don't want to mess it up. This is what the gold shade looks like so far. I'm going to wet it in a sec to see if we get a little bit more payoff. And I mean, it's pretty as is, but I just want to see if we can get a little more color payoff. So I wet it and let's see if we get a little more Okay, so I felt like that did a little something. So far, I'm liking how this looks. Well, I think that did a little something now. That's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out which blue I want to use. Do I want to use Blue Lagoon or Bikini Bottom? And this is Bikini Bottom, and this is Blue Lagoon. I'm thinking I should go with Blue Lagoon. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. That's Blue Lagoon. And that's Bikini Bottom. I'm thinking to go with Bikini Bottom Blue. Because, like, this purple isn't that dark. And the gold isn't, like, you know, real, like, dark either. So, I think I'm going to go with... Bikini bottom blue on the outer. I'm gonna do the same thing with that. Apply it dry first and then see how it is with that. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to wet it now. And see if we can get a little bit more color. Okay, 
So that's about to get to me. It looked like I got a little bit cut of payoff. So now, I keep wetting the cover. What is wrong with me? Something's itching me, y'all. I don't know. My little shadow in my eye. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip it into bikini bottom blue. And I'm going to tap that into that pink shade, which is Penny Pincher. Ouch. So, but I am going to go back into Golden Pineapple. Because I feel like I'm losing it just a little bit. Dragging this a tad into Penny Pincher. And now I'm um, going to go back with my Dose of Colors number three brush into Penny Pincher again. And I am going to dab that, okay, into Bikini Bottom Blue. Just trying to blend that in, and then I'm going to go back into one bow, which is the pink shade, and back on top, just a little bit to blend that out on the outer. Okay, and the point is not to show the pink, but basically just to help blend out pink venture. And then I am going to wipe this off, wipe off of a bone penny pincher, and I'm going to go back into imagination just one more time, and I am going to lightly, and I do mean lightly, blend, bluff out the top. So this is what we're looking at right now. I do want to take and just I'm gonna take this angled flat brush because I'm gonna kind of high under my brow, and I'm going to just just take that and just. Okay, I just wanted to clean up a little bit. I'm just gonna take a dry brush and just pat that. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Alright. I'm going back in with imagination. Is one left one more time. Um, so this is basically our eye, which I like. So I'm gonna come back with the other eye done, and then I will come back because I think the only other thing we have is lips, blush, and bronzer. So I'll be back when it's time to do that and we can close out this video. Alright guys, so I have lashes on, mascara. Um, so I went in with, uh, on the bottom I went in with Penny Pinchy, I'm sorry, Penny Pincher, um, Imagination. So I 
painted out penny pincher like right under my waterline and then under that I'm putting in a little of imagination and then I went on top with meow 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 right here and then my end corner highlight is treat em and jumping jellyfish so this one and then jumping jellyfish is my end corner highlight so now we're gonna come in with the blush in this palette and we're gonna go ahead and see how that looks which I don't mind the color I'm just hoping it ain't, it's not too pink but I don't mind it otherwise oh okay okay I like that like you can see it but it's kind of subtle and you can build it up so I like that so the blush I do like if you are lighter than me and I'm really light then you can use um uh, I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit because I'm a little overboard but if you're <laughs> I want to say about four shades, maybe not, maybe three to four shades lighter than me. You probably could do something with that. It could be all over the face, maybe, maybe a little sunny kiss. I don't know, it just depends. I like a little on my nose, a little on my nose, and a little on my chin. So that is that. But I do like the blush. I like how it looks on my skin tone, so I will use, continue to use that in the future. All right, and then the last product, which I'm excited about, is the lip gloss. So this is a Jellyfish three pack lip gloss set, and you get three shades. So you get three shades. Okay. So you get this kind of like holographic lip gloss. It is called Coral Number no. Five. So it is blue, but it I don't know if you can see it. I might have to zoom in on it. But it has like pink and red glitters in it. It feels real thick, right? Feel like real thick gloss. I don't know, probably can't really see it. But the glitters are like pink. It's like pink reddish glitters in it. I don't think you can really see it though. So that's coral number five. And then we just have this regular pink gloss which is called sea stargazer and this is just pink just like a little tinted pink i don't really think it's gonna give off much so that would definitely just be like maybe something i top my lips with but i don't think it's gonna give off much color this one oh i'm i kind of want to use this one this is called feeling pineapple this straight glitter this is straight glitter. Like, it's, it's straight glitter. This that's definitely a topper, or you could use it by yourself. But that's straight glitter. Um, yeah, no. Usually I go with a nude. That's my thing. A nude look. I don't know with this look what I want to go with. Cause even one could work. But I think what I want to do is try each shade by itself. So we'll go with the pink because I honestly really don't think you're going to get no color payoff with this. And it has the triangle doe foot. I like a little teardrop. Now I will say you're not getting much. Um, you definitely don't have to keep digging in this. This is basically what I said it was going to be. There's really no color payoff. It is 
this thick, like I said. It's not as shiny as I like to go. Because you're going to go shiny. And you go shiny. I like to look like I just got done eating a bucket of chicken. I done dipped it in like seven times, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. You really don't get no tint with, like, it's no color payoff. It's just a gloss. So that is that. Let me say it feels nice on your lips. It's not sticky, but it is thick. So now I'm going to go with coral number five and see what that looks like. So it definitely is a tint with this. It definitely is a little blue tint. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely blue tint with this. Um, I would definitely use this over something. Um, I don't know, like maybe like a purplish, burgundyish color. I think I would put this on top of, but it is giving me blue, pale blue. Definitely went with this by itself. <laughs> so this is what coral number five is looking like. You can see the glitter zone, not that much, but I can see it. Okay, and the last one, <laughs> feeling pineapple is straight glitter. I, 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 I already know. Oh my, <laughs> that that straight glitter. Straight glitter, straight glitter. But this, this straight glitter. If this is you, go ahead. This is not me, however, and no, ma'am, <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, this definitely will be a topper, and you don't need much. So uh, I am gonna wipe this off. I don't know what look I'm gonna go with. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I probably will use. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think I will use Phil and Pineapple though as a lip topper, but I'm make sure not to go overboard and putting stuff over it. But, um. So this has a smudger, so I'm just going to smudge it, try to smudge it a little bit. I'm just smudging that a little bit, and I'm going to take, this is my go-to for my new lip all the time always my go to always especially especially if you have like a colorful eye like this is real color Alright, y'all, I'm sorry, my memory, I had to switch my car. 
So I just put on my base, my everyday nude. So now I'm going to take filling pineapple and I'm just going to put that in the middle. Very sparingly in the middle. Just to give it a little glitter. Just a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not trying to be disco queen. I'm not the vibe. I'm not the vibe. Okay, and then I'm just going to take um, Sea Star Gazer. Just to put that on top everywhere else so we get that glossy look oh it's so aggravating alright cause all right, I'm just gonna take a lip brush and brush this on cause who got my butt I don't so I'm just gonna take this brush So this is the lips. So I'm going to set my face and do highlight and everything and come back because they didn't, this um, didn't come with a highlighter. But I'm back. So I am have my full face on, highlighter, sets spray, all of that. So let's go through all the products. So face mask. I think this is just really cute. Like... Cause you can buy them separate so if you want to buy some more of these masks you can i used it one time so i don't really know if it worked or not i do feel like it made my makeup um help my makeup stick so i'm fine with that um but you know you don't really know you have to keep trying stuff i only tried it once but it was real cute for the collection it was real cute so these i mean you know they can never have too many sheet masks. I like sheet masks personally. So I will be using the rest of these. But this whole collection is just cute. Everything holographic. It's just so cute, y'all. Alright, and then our next item. This. I love the palette. I was a little concerned with the mats. But they performed, though. They look really nice. See, you're trying to take the end of my brow off and I'm not with it. But I really do like it. I love the look. It's almost giving me pastel colors, kind of, sort of. Not exactly pastel colors, but it's kind of giving me that vibe. Get it out the way. <laughs> but I do love, love, love this look, though. It's so cute. It's those summery, springish, I guess. It, it gives me pastel vibes, but it's not pastel. But it gives me springy summer vibes, so I love it. Love the shimmer shades. Shimmer shades. Shimmer shades is what's up. I love this palette, though. It's so cute. Shimmer shades is bomb. The mattes that I did use performed. You can even kind of see some of the pink. It, some of them not going to show up as much because I'm darker but on lighter skin tones and if you probably used maybe the right kind of base you could probably get some of those mattes to show up a little bit more but overall I'm a little bit in palette definitely definitely be using more of these this summer more looks coming from this palette it's bomb okay and next so our blush and bronzer palette I mean, I could have did without this, honestly, just because the bronzer, I can't do nothing with it, like, I could set some eyeshadow with this, that's about it, like, I, I can't do anything with this shade, I wish they just, like, would have had where you could pick a different bronzer combo, but they didn't, this is the only one they came out with, I can't do nothing with that. I did like the blush. I love the blush. But honestly, I wouldn't say you have to get this. 
because I have blushes that are this color. So I want to say you have to run out and get this, honestly. But this does come with the whole collection if you choose to. You can buy everything separate also. But I did choose to get the whole collection, which was $93, I want to say. But um, if you use code FREE55, then you can get the whole collection for $55 plus free shipping. I'll make sure I put that down below as well because I do believe that they still have this. They still have this collection on hip dot. But I love the mirror because it's shaped like Sandy Hellman though. But I could have overall did without this really, honestly. And the last thing was the lip glosses. So, they are thick. I will say that. Um, not sticky. I just put too much on. That's why I keep stringing up on me. If I put too much on. But, um, these are okay. They was kind of hit and miss. I don't really like the doe fruit. Because it, it really don't pull anything out. Like, you just, you have to dip in too many times just to get product. And it's not as shiny as I usually like my lip glosses. Now, I mean, this this cute. It's cute. Is it practical? Not really. So, I do like the, the glitter. I think the glitter one was my favorite. Feeling Pineapple. The gold one was my favorite. Um... It's, it's just straight glitter, honestly, straight glitter. But if you use it as a topper, or like I did, like very sparingly, and then the blue shade, you would have to use this with the right, I don't know. Lighter skin tones will definitely be able to pull this off. Darker skin tones will be able to pull this off also, but you have to pair it with the right lip products. And then, the Sea Star Gazer, the pink one was just, mm, mm. I wish my lips were a little more glossy, but you know, it, it is what it is. But my favorite thing definitely got to be the palette. The palette is my favorite thing out of the whole. No, this palette, I love it. I love what I came up with. I love it. This palette is bomb. It's my favorite thing. Out of the whole collection. If anything, get the palette. Get the palette, if anything. You don't have to get nothing else but the palette. Like, you can obviously get the lip stuff. I mean, I would recommend the palette and the sheet mask. Because it's SpongeBob and Patrick. So, I would recommend getting this in the sheet mask. Anything else, you don't really need. But if you just want to have it, just to have it. Why not use the code free fifty five and get the whole collection if you want it? So that wraps up this video, ladies and gentlemen. So if you like these types of videos, just make sure to let me know. Uh, let me know if you're feeling this look down below in the comments, cause I am feeling myself, honey. I'm I'm ready to go somewhere, but we still in lockdown. And honestly, it's like five o'clock. It's not hard to go anyway. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You know you want to be part of the family. It's okay. Subscribe. Come on over. I got a whole bunch of videos coming, 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 coming. They're coming. So come join the family and get in on the fun, okay? It can be a B. Alright? It can be a B. It's okay. I know you want to. I don't even want to. So go ahead and share this video also. Anything else you would like to see, go ahead and comment down that below too. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video, loves.